Hi everyone, it's Monica with Advice to Think Twice. Um, I'm doing the daily energy and advice for February 3rd and 4th energies. I decided to just do it this way because, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm probably going to try to use the phone because it's not always steady and it's not always whatever, but I'm probably just going to use the phone if I can't do this. So, let's see. Going back to basics, eh? Um, what are the energies that we're dealing with on or around the 3rd and 4th of February? So we have the Hierophant with the Justice card. Okay, so two major arcana cards. Um, quite strong energy that we're dealing with here. This is commitments energy and things being made official or being put in writing or being signed, sealed, delivered type thing. Um, this can be marriage commitments made at this time with the Hierophant there, it definitely can be. It can also talk about renewed contracts or new contracts um, with big companies, corporations, uh, starting a family business or joining the family business or taking over the family business with this energy. It can also be a severing of ties, um, so choosing a different path Okay, for, for others of us. Um, the bottom line is the Hierophant talks about what is traditional, tried and true. It comes with, you know, a lot of ramifications, but everything's in place, everything is set up, and it's been done a million times before. And with the Justice card, this is getting what we deserve out of a situation. So, in other words, if we've put in the work towards manifesting a long-term commitment, whether it's romantic, financial, or otherwise, then that is what is coming through for us at this time. And if you are experiencing changes within existing commitments with the Justice card there, just know that it's probably for the best. It is um, what we deserve. Um, so it's if it's not going um, the way we think it should, ultimately it will be for the best. We just need to give it some time um, so that when we do look back, we'll see that it is for the best. Let's see our crystal guidance. We have Ametrine, balancing masculine and feminine energies, allow your feminine side to creatively inspire you and your masculine side to give you confidence. So there is a, a balancing, there is a coming together of masculine and feminine energy here. It can be, again, just confirming the energy of commitments to coming together, um, to create balance, to restore balance with this energy as well. Um, but it's an interesting message with the justice card as well because justice also talks about balance, restoring balance, balancing the scales um, type thing, okay, so something being made uh, official or being put right um, if it was out of balance, okay. In our tea leaf messages, I love these cards. Look, we have dolphin and scissors. I don't think we've seen these before. So dolphin, see, financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past, yeah? So something that you've put a lot of effort into. With the justice card, you're getting your just desserts. You're getting what you deserve, okay? And the scissors, disappointment in some affair. Now, with these two, I'm seeing the energy of gain in one side and a little bit of disappointment in another, but that's that's just natural. So if we have to work extra hours to put in extra hours in order to make sure that our business is successful or in order to advance our career, etc., obviously that time is going to have to be taken away from either spending on ourselves, by ourselves, or fa family, friends, other um, commitments we may have. So it's a little bit of bittersweet energy for some, or it can be. And for others, I feel like this is about getting money back or getting money that was owed to you, maybe from some sort of legacy or inheritance, something along those lines, okay? So again, it's a little bit bittersweet um, with that energy. And I'm also getting, balancing the books. So money's coming in, okay? We're about to experience in some sort of balancing out yeah things balancing out coming into some form of stability but i feel like with the scissors energy there and the ametrine where we want to keep this balance we want to maintain this balance moving forward 
we're now coming up with budgets and setting some self-imposed restrictions as it were, you know, let me not go overboard here or overboard there um, type energy, okay? But ultimately, this is very, very good, very positive. So I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Let me know how these make sense to you, how the messages make sense if they do. Um, and I'm doing February tarot scopes for all the signs. I think I just have the air signs to go um, if I catch in one of them lives. Um, and stay tuned for more videos that I'm going to do, okay? So have a great couple of days ahead, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.